All right, everybody. <laughs> oh, technology, technology. But I'm here. Oops. And uh, I might even eventually have my screen catch up to what I'm trying to do and see if anybody else is here. Here we go. Need to see my comments. I had this all set up. And then as soon as I went to Zoom to live stream to do it, everything changed and nothing is where it was. So, hey, I'm only three minutes late. That's not too bad. Um, I was trying to do the full on without my overhead camera because I wanted to show you some stuff on the screen. But uh, yeah, that's proving fun. Okay, so my getting the comments part is uh, not happening. So here's what, uh, what's happening today, though. Uh, I'll see if I can fight with stuff in the background to make it work. Um, I'm going to uh, give you the, this. This was meant to be shorter, but by the time I actually get to what I'm going to, uh, by the time I get to what I'm going to, we might be 45 minutes in. Um, you know, if I see, and here's the sad part is now you get to see what is on my computer when I do a live, and you get to see me fight with it. Um, normally, if I double click on this, there we go. You just have to do it seven times. Um, yeah. Well, as I stop and there's nothing but dead air. Okay, <laughs> like I have like inside of, inside of, inside of, inside of. Um, well, what the, it just seems like I just keep going more and more inside. You know, we're just gonna cut our losses here. And uh, try, not to, try not to close anything that we actually need. Like that. Okay, so we're on part two of the starter kit and this was maybe not such a good idea. Um, because the screen is not cooperating with everything that worked in the dress rehearsal. Because I believe it or not, I actually had like a mini dress rehearsal ahead of time to make sure I could go from page to page. Okay, so part two of the starter kit. I was actually just going to show you um, how you go about signing up for one, should you want to know. Um, but then we get our, we get, uh, as a demonstrator, we get our updates on Tuesday mornings. And the update that came in this morning reminded me that next week there's a sale. So the seasonal sale is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. And I, I sometimes when the sales are out, it's all the shiny new stuff's on sale. Um, and sometimes you just need the basics. So this sale is targeting the basics and I'm super happy about it. Uh, and it's pretty easy to remember too. Darn it. Oh, there we go. Anything in the annual catalog. So that's the big catalog. Um, because I've never mentioned before, they don't come with the coil. I go and, and uh, to Staples and I get this done because it's just so much easier for me. But this is, ooh, I'm trying to use that tiny little screen there now because I've totally screwed up my view. This is the annual catalog. This catalog comes out in May, goes for a full year. So <clears throat> in the annual catalog, the card stock is 10% off. The ink pads are 15% off. And you'll notice on there it says, um, bundles and third party are not included. Um, we'll see if anybody can figure out what the orange highlighting is. I'm sorry, I really got to fix this. So on this page, which would be page 129, there's some inks in here, versus some arc and that. That's what they mean by the third party inks. They're not the Stampin' Up! like color family inks. They're um, for embossing and black. That's what they meant by those. I figured it out. And then the dyes are 20% off. Now, Lots of times when you buy a bundle, which means you buy a stamp set and, a, and a, the dies that go with it, or a stamp set and a punch that goes with it, you get 10% off by buying it as a bundle. And so that always makes it the best deal. But in this case, 20% off dies makes it a good deal. And there is actually quite a few dies. I cannot make my fingers work to open the pages. Um, in the catalog where <clears throat> you don't actually even need a stamp set to go with them. Um, this one I made, this is birthday cards that I made this year. Let's see what we can do. The little one in the middle there with the four squares. You don't even need a um, the stamp set. The dies alone are awesome. There's label dies that are in here. Uh, one of the ones that's on sale is called Tasteful Labels. Let's see if I got that right. PQRS. Yep, when I do the alphabet, I pretty much do the same thing every time. PQRSC. 
Uh, let me see. Tasteful labels. The tasteful label dies, they're awesome. So $42 minus 20%, that should be eight bucks off, right? Um, eight something off. Uh, there's the circles, there's the diorama dies, which we're gonna do a technique Tuesday with one of those because they're lots of fun to play with. There's squares, there's all sorts of different things. There's letter, or there's words. Um, so getting the dies, that's awesome. So here's the thing that I meant to tell you, because we're talking about the starter kit. When you sign up to be a demonstrator and you get your starter kit, the very next order you make, you automatically qualify for the discount, which is 20% off. So if you were to sign up this week to be a demonstrator and you go shop next week, the 20% off you get plus the 10% off the card stock, 30% off card stock, 20% off plus 15, 35% off ink pads, 20% you get off plus 20% off dies, 40% off the dies. So your discount is on top of that sale price. Even more savings. And I wish I would have thought that yesterday because yesterday's theme was all about savings. So there you go. Uh, if you are not a demonstrator, I will be posting a thing here to remind you, but start making your list now. Get it to me by Sunday. First thing Monday, I'm ordering so that we don't have to worry about any back orders or things going out of stock or anything like that. So anything in the annual catalog. But like I said, if you're already getting your 20% discount, plus then you get all the sale prices on top of it, it's awesome. Now, I'm gonna make one more attempt at getting Facebook to open on my screen. Oops, well, I don't want it that big, but, um, so that, see the problem is, part of the problem, <laughs> oh, there's so many problems. Part of the problem is that this Zoom bar covers the top of my screen and makes it so I can't click on certain things. Uh, let's see what's going on in Facebook. Let's let's have a little insight into Tracy's life as you see everything that she can't hide on her screen. Uh, lucky for you, or I guess lucky for me, maybe. My life's um, not that uh, scandalous or exciting at the moment. So uh, there's not really anything to, to see. Okay, if I get here, this is the problem. It took me two days to get my computer right. Yesterday, I don't know what the problem with it was. I couldn't get it to start up. It just kept going to the picture. And then the little part that comes up is not the technical terms, the picture. And then the part that comes up where you're supposed to punch in your, your four digit pin to get into your computer wouldn't come up. It just came up to the picture. So I thought, well, I'll just have to restart it. But then I couldn't get it to turn off. I would turn it off and I would think, oh, the, light, the power light's gone off and it would start itself back up, which is why I think computers are possessed. But yes, it was just, I mean, it was brutal that I, I couldn't get anything to happen. So hence the reason uh, that we did it old school yesterday with me holding the iPad, which I don't know if that was as bad as I thought. I have no idea why this one open. Uh, so here's the thing though. I realize now looking at this black Zoom box, I don't think it's actually sharing what I thought it was. <laughs> Let me just see, I did share a screen. this box instead. Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. I need to know if it is showing you anything, but I cannot see any comments <laughs> on my computer at all. So I'm going to very inconspicuously look at my phone and see if I am getting any comments. I don't know if I can see this way. So much for inconspicuously, because <laughs> I can't inconspicuously look at my phone. Um, oh, see, my notifications are all wonky too. I've got a notification there that somebody's trying to message me, but so I figured that that meant maybe somebody was telling me something, but there's no notifications. Oh, technology. Okay, so how do I know? It says I'm sharing no. Okay, so I need if <laughs> someone to message me and tell me if it's working. See, now it says screen, the other one said the other way. My Zoom screen is not showing anything other than this. I think that is what is throwing me off. So, I'm just gonna go with that. I'm gonna check one more thing, because I think I may have figured out how I can tell if it's working. I can look on here. My phone works somewhat better than my computer. 
can I tell you what it shows on the feed? Oh, thank goodness. I want to see comments here. Look at that. <laughs> this is the, the gong show that is my live today. Thank you very much for hanging in there. Uh, usually showing up different than it usually does. Yeah, Coral, I'm using different cameras and stuff. So um, that would be telling my son, no, you cannot talk. Um, because I wanted to show you the screen, but I'm happy to see that at least at least what I think is on the screen is showing up on the screen because my Zoom capture is showing the black square. Okay, yeah, I get it. Uh, technology. Okay, so that means that you should have seen the sales stuff. So you got the second little part about the savings. And then the part that I was gonna tell you for today. So, and, and I realized that this thing sliding by, which I have no control over, is really gonna drive me nuts. Okay, so yesterday I posted a video and in that post, I put the link here, which is my sort of landing page for Stampin' Up that everybody gets when they, they start. Um, so because of Facebook and its possessedness, um, it was going on and it's still going on. And I would imagine it's gonna take quite a while to fix the whatever issue it is that is making um, Facebook delete all of these Canadian demos posts when they put the Stampin' Up! store in it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to take a little bit. So I'm very carefully trying to figure out what to, what to link to and what not to link to. Um, just so I can, uh, oh, thank you, Carl. Um, just so I can um, not have the post go away. So this is this is the link you want here. Basically, it's just my name, that's tampinup.net. And when you go down to here, you're going to see this option for join. So when you go to join, and I can't show you the whole process because I have already joined. And uh, as soon as I punch in my email, it's going to tell me that. But if you go there, there's a little bit of information on here that tells you this stuff. Um, it tells you that you get to create your own starter kit. Um, it's going to let you know that, <laughs> for better or for worse, if you join from my website, that puts you on my team. Now, tomorrow's topic um, is resources. And the topic the day after is community. And I'm saving the community one. It's my favorite. So I don't know why I saved it to last. I should have put that right up. Front. best part ever <laughs> is the community, the customers, the whole bit. So, but you'll notice in the next couple of days, I'm going to show you all sorts of stuff about this, the teams and what's available to you and stuff. But just know that signing up does not mean you're alone. Like instantly you gain me and the team of trailblazers, hey Carl, um, <laughs> which is an awesome group to belong to. Plus, Stamp it up, Canada, stamp it up. And just, I, uh, when I sat down at my desk today to, I'm on a bit of a ramble today. I'm gonna to try to like focus in and end this because this is probably painful for you guys. Um, when I sat down at my desk today to make sure everything was working and that my computer wasn't gonna be a brat today, uh, uh, a little Facebook notification popped up and this lovely demonstrator from Britain was giving um, some tips on how to make a holiday guide. And I thought, oh, this is perfect. I'm about to start making one of those too. So this will be great. And it was an hour and 15 minutes of her giving us just nonstop one thing after another of how awesome Canva works and how easy it is and all these like tips. Oh my God, it was just phenomenal. And, and she just does it because she knows how and she likes and she shares. So whew, the resources, we'll get more of that later. Anyways, so here's the button you're going to hit that says join now. So it, it is quite... Quite simple, really. You find the find my page, find join, go down to the bottom and hit the button that says join now. What it's going to ask you for is, and again, it's, I've been a demonstrator for almost 10 years, so it's been a while since. And actually, when I did it, it was all paper, now it's electronic. But in some form of order, it's going to ask you for your name, an email address, and a shipping address. It's going to ask you for your social security number. And that's because as a job, if you if you get to the point of selling enough stuff that it triggers a T4 slip, they need to be able to tag it all together. Um, it is also the one way that they can identify you from somebody else with the same name so that there's only ever one person at a time having the kit. You can buy the kit more than once. There's a time period for when it expires um, if you don't do anything with it. Um, but they need to make sure that you don't already have one. Like, so you can't be a demonstrator with like two different demonstrator numbers running. So they do use your, your social insurance number for that. Um, and then you need the credit card number to pay for it. And I know at some point along the way, they ask for a bank account. The bank account number is so that if you sell stuff and you get profit or 
and honestly, I don't even know how it happens, but um, Stampin' Up! gives, like, shares the, a percentage of the profit with demonstrators, and I know that it's it's based on what you do and how you sell it, um, and, but every now and again, I'll have, like, five bucks show up in my account that's what they gave from Stampin' Up!, and it's this, like, dispersal of funds thing, so that's what they have, so even if you weren't doing this as a business, I don't know, every now and again, you might get five bucks, so that's what the bank account is for. So it's so is, if Stampin' Up! is giving you money, they have somewhere to put it. But they're going to ask you for that like basic information. Then they're going to ask you for your list of items. So before you go to join up, make sure you've figured out what items you want. Now, if you were to go today and do this, it's whatever is in the annual catalog, whatever's in the holiday catalog. Let's try to set my phone down. Um, now that I can see, that's the only I can see the comments. Um, you know, darn it, I just have my holiday catalog. Uh, okay, so it's whatever's in the annual catalog, whatever's in the holiday catalog, and whatever's on the clearance rack. Now, the clearance rack is stuff that's super marked down already. But anything that shows up as current product, you can add to your list. If you waited till Monday to do this, then um, you could add anything, like whatever the sale price is, that's what it would add it to your kit. So you'd be able to get a bit more in your kit on Monday if you... Uh, with, you, with the sale price, because it's whatever number you get that adds up before shipping and tax. So just like the product amount that adds up to $165. Can't go over just $165. So make sure you have your list ready ahead of time when you go in and you're going to enter this in. Once you enter it all in, it's going to send you an email that says, congratulations, here's a demonstrator number. I'm paraphrasing. Here's a demonstrator number. Here's a link to the website. It's going to have, tell you how you can go online to set up demonstrator orders. Um, and if you and if you do want to do that, then let me know and I will, at your pace, um, help you through all of those steps. I will tell you what can wait and what can't wait, <laughs> what you want to do first. Um, if you want to, there's lots of different ways that there are like types of demonstrators. There's business demonstrators. So, I mean, I now that I'm retired, um, I'm, I consider myself a business demonstrator. So I, from most days, Monday to Friday, from nine to four, I have something going. Um, I'm prepping stuff or planning stuff. And yes, I, the beauty of it is if, if I need to do something likewise, <laughs> I do that instead. I do some stuff at night, but for the most part during the day is when I have it scheduled with when I want to do my stuff. Um, right now I'm spending a whole lot of time just learning technology and fighting technology, but I do a lot during the day. And this is what I'm like. I this I love this stuff. I I even the the training I did today with this lady. Um, I, I was so excited afterwards. I just I knew I had to go do something else, but I was just like, oh, I just now I want to go do this. I want to try this because I was I'm having so much fun learning all this new stuff. Um, you don't have to do any of that stuff. You can you could also be a business demonstrator, and once the restrictions allow for it, uh, do your whole business in person and barely do any social media at all. The uh, one of the top Canadian demos in Canada, who was the first Canadian demonstrator to reach a million dollars, um, only started doing social media stuff last year because of the pandemic. Prior to that, um, she had done like all of it, like reached the million dollars, the whole bit, um, just doing in-person and, um, and I mean, emails and stuff like that, but not Facebook or social media or any of that kind of stuff. So you can have a successful business without social media. Uh, right now, pandemic-wise, it's it's uh, you just got to use find different ways to connect with people. Um, so then there's also what I was previously because I had a full time job. I was a, a part timer or a spare timer. I heard some overtimer. I've heard it called a bunch of different things. So if if you just have um, time nights and weekends or the odd day or whatever, then that's how much time you can spend on it. You can purely sign up, get the starter kits. And I will tell you how to do all the different steps for each one of these, um, just so that from now going forward, if you meet your minimums, which is 300 CSV, which is about $400 um, every three months. Um, if, you, if you're going to spend that much on crafting anyways, you might as well get a discount. Or you and your friends want to spend that much. You don't have to have a huge um, customer base. It could just be you and your friends. Um, but spending that much stuff, just so you keep getting your stuff at a discount. Hobby demonstrator, totally good idea right? Best way to get your, your discount. Um, you can also just get the kit once, get a whole bunch of stuff. And what, what Stampin' Up! will do once you've signed up is they'll send you all the information. 
And then you're now in the email chain. So anything any other demonstrator gets, you will get. <clears throat> so once a week, they give send updates. There's an email for that. Um, it's, I don't think you'll be inundated with emails. You'll get a few at the very beginning, and then you will get that. And then when you get close to the end of your three months, if you haven't done anything else, they'll send you an email saying that you haven't met your minimums and you're about to go into pending status. You would go into pending status. And then at the end of that, they would say, you didn't meet your minimums um, and, they, and you drop as a demonstrator. And so you could not answer a single email through this entire process. And they'll just send, they'll just send they have automated, obviously. They'll just send their emails out. And at the end of that period, you're done. Um, if you want to build a business, then those are just good reminders and good helpful information. But um, as part of my team and me being part of a bigger team, um, I will be, look, I have a team Facebook page and stuff that I'm just getting all set up. Um, <clears throat> but I will send you reminders and I will help you and I will walk you through some of those steps. So you don't have to worry about like, reacting to the stuff you want to react to. Just know that you can also ignore it all and it will be fine. Um, you, the, the time frame you have to meet your first um, quarterly minimums is actually the first full quarter. So signing up now, the quarter ends at the end of December. So your first full quarter is not actually January, February, March. It's not actually until the end of March. So November, December, you can buy stuff, you can get stuff early, you can do whatever. January to March, that will be when the first expectation is that you meet the quarterly minimums, which means during January, February, March, if you spend $400 worth, and I'll explain the CSV, I can't remember what CSV stands for right now, but it, it has to do with currency. Right? It's an American company that has five different uh, international markets. So they adjust everything to CSVs. And I can't remember what it's for. But for us, basically, it means $400 Canadian. So if you spend that during that period, then you'll roll over to another three months. If you don't, you'll drop. So basically, between now and the end of March, you will keep getting all the information. You'll get free catalogs in the mail. You'll be able to get your discount. And you'll be able to do whatever you want. So that's that's basically the the initial steps. Beyond that, it really is just, if you get a kit, you let me know, or I will contact you, and we'll talk about what you want, and then off we go. And if what you want is just the stuff, and to never hear from me again, as hard as that will be, because I do love to talk stamping, that is exactly what I will do. If you want to be in on it, and we have once a week meetings, like team meetings, or once a month team meetings, sorry, not once a week, that's a lot. Um, then that's possible too. Being available for question and answer, that's there too. So lots of stuff that goes on. But the first step is if you just want to get the great deal and get the kit, go to the website right up here in the corner. Hit, hit the join button, scroll down to the bottom, hit join now and have your social insurance, credit card, mailing address, and your list, the fun part, make your list. Um, and ready to go. And if you have any questions during that process, if you're going to try to do that, let me know. So that's it. I'm done rambling. <laughs> Thank you, Coral, for hanging in there. Um, I can't tell if anybody else is on my phone. It's only showing me one thing. So, um, but uh, it was fun. Here's the information. And I, I forgot to mention yesterday because I think by the time I was done, my hands were so sore from holding my my um, iPad like this the whole time. But um, I'm going to post all these videos on my YouTube channel. So if you want to go back and watch any of that, I tend to have a lot of information in this. Oh, here you go. Um, you can always go back and watch them. I'm going to make a separate little folder as soon as I'm done here that says starter kits. And I will post each each one of the videos I do this week, I will post into there. Um, and as soon as I said that, it made me realize that I never posted last week's Technic Tuesday. So I'm going to post that too while I'm in there. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Make a list. Looking forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.